Support Weapons Review, The Honest Version. Feel free to pause the video, to read what all the specializations for each gun actually do. Check the description for timestamps as well. The KE-7, the support starting weapon. This gun makes you question what makes an LMG an LMG. With only 25 bullets you will find yourself reloading. A lot. More than you ever wanted to. It's just enough bullets to kill one, maybe two people if you don't miss. It can kill at mid to long range, but it's not very consistent at it. The clip size is the only thing holding it back. Run the fire rate specialization to make it compete well in firefights. Quick tip, always reload before using your last shot, or you will suffer through an even longer reload animation. The MG34. Ah, finally. A gun with more than 25 bullets. This gun is classified as an MMG. All that means to you is you cannot aim down sights without deploying the bipod. You will get this weird hip fire like ridicule instead. Don't rely on it. Ignore those kills you just saw. That was luck. It's inconsistent as fuck. Just like trying to deploy this bipod on this window. To use this gun, is to know this struggle. Eventually, if you actually get the bipod to behave itself, the gun turns into one of the best in the game. With a high enough fire rate and accuracy to kill whoever you want at close, mid, and long range. The only downside, is since you have to be stationary to use the weapon, you're the easiest sniper bait ever. Move positions after you get a few kills to throw off the enemy. If you noticed, I used the same sights for all my support guns. It's 1.25 times sight and it works well for every gun this class has. I know it's ugly, but try it out. The 12 gauge automatic shotgun. This gun has a specialization that makes it shoot slug rounds. Slugs are a one shot kill if it's a headshot. I don't recommend using slugs, as it makes close range fights harder than it should be, for someone using a shotgun. The hardest thing about using a shotgun, is remembering you have a fucking shotgun, in a battlefield game. Play to your gun strengths and don't take on long range engagements. You will just die. Silly. Stick to close range environments. Wait and bait enemies to come to you. Play like you have a close range weapon, and not like you have a normal gun. The Bren Gun. Remember when the only gun you had was the KE-7, and all you wanted was a bigger magazine. Well here you go, 5 more bullets than the KE-7. And its specializations are nothing noteworthy. I'd describe the Bren gun as the most, okay, gun ever. It's got an, okay, clip size. It's got, okay, accuracy. It does, okay, damage. The fire rate is on the slow side for the rest of the class weapons. But that's, okay, too. The only thing noteworthy about this gun, is its upside down magazine that's in you face all the time. Annoys the fuck out of me, but maybe someone out there likes this BBC. Big, black, clip, in their face every time they aim this gun. The Lewis gun. This is an actual alternative to the KE-7. With an odd ammo count of 47 bullets and an average fire rate, it's a decent gun. Some people will like the gun because they think the UFO looking magazine is cool. And they're kinda right. The gun has a specialization to make it hold 97 bullets. Still an odd number, yet not as odd as 25, and more, okay, than 30. If you like a more mobile play style as support, use this gun. Especially if snipers are making it hard to use an MMG. It doesn't particularly outshine any gun, but it's better than average in all its categories. It's a, you can't go wrong with this, kinda gun. 
The M30 drilling. It's a double barrel shotgun. It kills people just as effective as you think a double barrel should. But no, you can't shoot both barrels at the same time. Aw. Oh. Compared to the 12 gauge the M30 has a better one shot kill range. The only downside of course, is only having two shots ready at any time. If you miss, well, don't miss twice. And hope there's not more than two enemies around you at any time. Switching the fire mode lets you shoot the gun's rifle round. That's the V button by default for PC. The rifle round is a one shot kill to the head, and a two shot to the body. I originally thought this was for trolling, as you'd have to be standing still to even aim a shotgun well enough to get a headshot. But, it's actually really useful, and I'm just as surprised as you are, that all these guys are standing still, waiting to be shot by me. I guess that's the power of the double barrel. When they finally find where you're hiding, remind them that you still have a double barrel shotgun. And don't miss. It means death for you. The FG-42. I'll keep this one short. The only unique thing about this gun, is its design. And there are better looking guns than this, so I don't know the appeal this gun has. It has an abysmal magazine size of 20, and no specialization to upgrade it. If you insist on using this gun, don't miss, because it'll usually mean you're dead. The high fire rate means you will kill that one enemy pretty quick. And that's about it. Prepare to reload even more than the KE-7. It's got decent accuracy, but so does every other gun in this class, especially when you use the bipod. At least the Bren gun was decent at everything, but this gun is good at nothing. The MG-42. I want to say that this is an upgrade to the MG-34, except one small detail. Since the gun's fire rate is so high, you tend to miss long distance targets more than you did with the MG-34. Other than that everything else seems to be better. You can go for the 250 magazine specialization, or the 1200 fire rate specialization, if you feel like overkilling someone. This gun has a particular specialization that does 100% more damage to aircraft. Well, while testing it out I could barely hit a fucking plane, especially since you can't aim up if you have a bipod deployed. It essentially means hip firing bullets at a plane to do a little damage. But if you're in range to shoot a plane with your gun, just know, you're probably about to die from its bombs anyway. Use that specialization, to combo with your anti-air guns. Not to replace them, 